Amazon's recently announced Game Lift Streams. But what is it, and what exactly does it mean for Amazon Luna? To put it into simple terms, it's their very own version of Google's immersive stream for games, which may ring a bell. You who came from the Stadia community during its final days, you would know of that name because it's what Google essentially turned Stadia into, a white label service. Now if I had to describe what a white label service is, to keep it short, it's pretty much an offering to third parties to come out and basically buy your tech so they can use it as their front end. It's certainly an interesting topic and idea, but I can't help but feel just a little bit of history repeating itself here, and I really hope I'm wrong about that. Reason number one being that immersive stream for games eventually got shut down by Google themselves. Reason number two being that immersive stream for games kind of felt like the beginning of the end for Stadia. Not to mention, it ended up shutting down alongside it. Those are two fates that I'd much rather see Amazon avoid from happening. Now, it's not all bad news. In fact, this could very well be beneficial. I mean, after all, as a business, you care about making money, and if you can use the same technology you're using and then rent it out to other businesses, well, that's profit. It is worth noting that Google did struggle to get major studios on board. In fact, the only one I can think of is AT&T when they were streaming Batman. But in this case, apparently Amazon's already working with Bandai Namco, Jackbox Games, Exola, and more already showing interest within the industry. Amazon's also allowing for more control for developers, making them not rely on their infrastructure, but they can actually set the full control over distribution, monetization, and scaling. And last but not least, while Google did have great technology with Stadia, they didn't have AWS, which a lot of gaming companies already rely on. Now, personally speaking, I don't mind this sort of option existing as long as game publishers don't get greedy and make their games exclusive to just their storefront. The worst case scenario definitely being that games start getting pulled from other services, which I really doubt would happen. I mean, just imagine it, Ubisoft ditching GeForce Now to do their own thing, and they control Activision Blizzard's cloud rights, that would be devastating. But of course, that's all hypothetical, and I doubt it would happen, fingers crossed. How about now we talk about what this means for Amazon Luna, and one can't shake the feeling that this isn't entirely great news for the service. I mean, it did always feel like Amazon Luna was going a different route than the likes of GeForce Now, PlayStation Plus, or Xbox Game Streaming. Their whole idea of channels kind of put the publishers front and center, and it seemed like they could control what they wanted to charge. They already did deviate a little bit from that, considering they let you just link your GOG account as well as Ubisoft. But one has to wonder, if somebody decides to do their own thing, does that mean Amazon Luna is not going to have a channel for that publisher? And if so, does that say something about Amazon's prioritization of Amazon Luna themselves? I feel like it would, but at the end of the day, this is all conjecture, so who knows? What we do know is that Amazon Game Livestreams is a real thing and it's here. It'll certainly be interesting to see how all of this plays out, especially especially when we have the comparison of Google Immersive Stream with games, we just gotta wait and see. Let me know your thoughts on all this down in the comments section below. Do you think it's good or bad for Amazon Luna as a whole? And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, this has been Steven from Anytime Anywhere Gaming, wishing you a great day, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.